What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and yes, it's time to capture another Pokemon right here. And uh, the next Pokemon is Skarmory and uh, Crud. It took me quite a while to actually locate this Pokemon. I mean, uh, as I'm looking at this right now, it's already been like 10 minutes from three other videos and all that stuff, yes. And uh, yeah, I want Skarmory. Skarmory is a pretty good Pokemon. I know I've had him in my old Pokemon. Ooh, <laughs> nearly makes him faint. And look at that. Paralysis. That's awesome. Oh my god. Okay, so I got to capture this Pokemon. I, wow, I hit the jackpot right here by just not trying to make him faint right here. So, come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. There we go, guys. We cut ourselves another Pokemon right here. Oh, yes. Skarmory, I've been wanting you for quite some time, and here we have Skarmory, the armored bird Pokemon. A Pokemon that has a body and wings of steel. People in the past used feathers of the fallen Skarmory to make swords and knives, which is cool. So, what kind of a nickname should I give this Pokemon? It's pretty simple, guys. Never gave it a nickname in my old Pokemon Crystal Walker. Not the one that I just made, but the one that I made as Draven XE711. So, here we go. We're gonna call him this. Oh my god. I'm gonna call him Skyblade. That's right, Skyblade. Look at that, Skyblade. So it's gonna go straight to the PC. I will see you guys right up, right back at Fall Arbor Town, like right about, I don't know, now. Alrighty guys, so I already said what my what's ups and all that stuff. Here we're back at Fall Arbor Town. Now before we even get into the PC and get Skyblade, yeah, there's somebody right here blocking the PC. Now, this is where you actually find out who actually developed the PC here in Hoenn. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Oh, hello. You are? Okay, your name's Draven. I can see that you're a trainer. So that means that you use the, P uh, the Pokemon system or Pokemon storage system I developed. How I arrived at the conclusion is a simple deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to access something to the, on this PC. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Lynette. Honestly, glad to meet you. It's great that you're using this, uh, the storage system. If you could, please visit me at my home. My or at, at home. My home is at Route 114. Okay. All right. So we got an invitation. Okay. That's cool. That's awesome. All right. Let's. Uh, okay. So we caught our newest Pokemon, Skarmory, Skyblade, and uh, it's pretty obvious to all of us which Pokemon is going to be uh, transferred back into the PC. Since we already got a Steel Tap Pokemon right here, as you can see, I've already collected quite a few Pokemon in this adventure right here, and uh, I'm actually going to move this guy right over here, and the Pokemon that is actually going to take a nice break is our good old buddy, Claymore, and I know that this Pokemon right here is a little, you know, I guess he's very popular with some of you guys right here, but the reason why I changed Claymore for Sky uh, for Skyblade right here is because I need a flying type Pokemon. I need a faster Pokemon, and you know, trying to raise an Auron, especially going into the next few stages of its of its uh, evolution line, it's gonna be a little hard. But you know what? Eventually, you know, we might go back to Auron. We might go back to Dust uh, Dust Storm or Toxic Storm, I should say. And I don't know, maybe we might get Shadow back up, but. As of right now, as you can see, we got ourselves a new team member, a nice, good team member, a very fast one. Let's go ahead and check him out right now, or check her out. So, let's see what we got. So, here we go. Skarmory, or Skyblade, it is sturdy. So, that is a... <laughs> so, that explains why it didn't faint. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, so... Sturdy. Negates one-hit KO attacks. It's modest nature, level 16. And, of course, its biggest strength right here is its defense. Its speed is pretty much uh, aligned with its attack. Special attack, not really much, but it's still a very good Pokemon to actually have on your team. Its attacks include Peck, Sand Attack, Swift, and Agility. And good for us because we got a few uh, items right here that we can actually use to uh, teach him some moves. So, as you can see, uh, our good old friend, uh, what was his name, uh, Steven Stone, gave us Steel Wings. So, we're just going to take this and we're gonna give it to uh, to uh, Skyblade right here so he wants to learn Steel Wing what move should it learn and uh, it's very obvious I'm gonna take away sand attack because I don't know I'm, I'm just a straightforward guy just attacking people right here and uh, let's see there's a bulk up attack hmm let's see who can learn this well Shroom Lee can 
Let's see. Let's see what kind of move that should I take away if I were to teach it bulk up. And uh, honestly, honestly, I just want to keep it where where it's at, guys. So I'm not gonna teach it bulk up just yet. And uh, oh wait, what am I doing? Yes, stop learning. Okay, and uh, is there anything else that I want? No, actually not. Not right now. So that is pretty much it, guys, right here. Um, as you can see, we got ourselves a new Pokemon, Skyblade. Um, I was actually debating whether or not to capture a Skarmory or a Dragon-type Pokemon that we might encounter later on. This guy right here is like, something's happening, and I don't like it. I've seen shady characters wandering in and out of uh, Professor Cosmo's house. Okay. We're gonna learn, and uh, of course, Fall Arbor Town, a farm community of small uh, with small gardens. Uh, as you can see, there is another battle tent right here where you can actually, you know, battle and do whatnot. And uh, if you go right here, this is the Move Tutor's house, which you can actually go and talk to the Move Tutor, so I can actually teach your Pokemon some new moves in exchange for, I think, Pokemon like uh, heart sh heart shells or something, or yeah, heart scales. And we got ourselves a heart scale. So what we're gonna be doing? Let's see. Hmm. You know what? Let's go to Raphael. Let's see if it actually knows any kind of new moves. And actually, no. It actually knows quite a few. Well, it's actually uh, trying to remember some of its old moves right here. Now, let's go to Raiden and see if it can actually learn something better. And, of course, not right now. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. How about Skyblade? I want to see what Skyblade uh, actually knows, and uh, <laughs> nothing yet. And uh, let's see, hmm, Gaia. Gaia should know something, something at all. And it, it's only moves it knows is growl. Wow, that's kind of uh, ridiculous right here. Come on, Trumly, you got to have a move right here that you know you actually want to learn. And uh, actually, headbutt. Hmm, I replaced it with strength, so I really don't need it. Um, okay, so let's go to Swamp Lord and see what Swamp Lord can actually learn. So let's see what moves it can learn. As you can see, it actually only knows the moves that it learned in its previous form. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to teach any of my Pokemon anything right now. Now, if you were to have, like, a Pokemon like Gyarados, Nidoking, and all that stuff that can learn moves that doesn't really learn by leveling up, you know, you can teach them right here. Eventually, I'm going to learn a few moves that it should have learned. Now, I'm going to try and find Professor Cosmo's house right here. I think it's right here. Professor Cosmo. Now, if you talk to this young lady right here, she's like, Professor Cosmo went off to Meteor Falls on Route 114 with some people from Team Magma. Now, this is a first right here. If you remember in our last episode, I would have to say, or two episodes ago, we actually saw some Team Plasma or Team Magma members. Now, this is the first time we're encountering them. Now, we're going to get out of Fall Arbor Town, and we're going to go straight to Route 114 and battle quite a few people right here. Now, this guy's house is the Fossil Maniac's house. Now, if you go in here, you can actually find or talk to this person. It's like, my big brother's a Fossil Maniac. He's, he's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes, too. He dug this hole all by himself. You can have this so you can dig holes just like my big brother. And we got ourselves the TM28 dig attack, which is a very good uh, ground type move. Actually, who can learn this move? I want to know. Oh, uh, let's see. Actually, Swamp Lord can learn this move. I am not planning on wasting dig right now. Now, if you go right here, you can see this place is just dug to heck. And, um... You know, you're going to eventually find the, the Fossil Maniac right here. He's like, I'm a Fossil Maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around these parts are belong to me, none for you. If you can't bear to go without a fossil, look in the desert where there are boulders in the sand that may hide fossils. Eventually, guys, they actually expand in this whole area right here. Um, if you guys are playing Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire, this is all you're going to get. Yeah, this is all you're going to get in this whole area. But now in Pokemon Emerald, once you defeat the Elite Four, this will actually expand, which I will show you guys uh, way, way later on. Um, and he, all, he, he's also, he also mentioned something about uh, the desert where you can actually find fossils. Yes, that there's some connection to that as well. Now let's just move on right here. And uh, Okay, I got Raiden right here. I have a feeling this guy wants to battle or something. Yes, I like to fish, but I don't like to battle. This is Nat. Yada, yada, yada. Let's do this. Alrighty, so we're going to be battling. We're going to be going to Meteor Falls, that kind of stuff. And this guy, his name is Nolan, Nolan and he's coming out with a Barboke. Barboke or Barboche? 
I'm still having a, a, an issue with the name. Now, unfortunately, I can't use Raiden against this guy because Barboach or Barboak is a grass, or no, not a grass type Pokemon, a ground and water type Pokemon, just like Swamp Lord. So let's go to Shroomly. Not so effective right here. That's right. You don't like that? Whatever. Let's go Mega Drain. Oh, yes. Look at that. Super Mega Drain for the win. Yeah. Alrighty. That's right. Defeated. Raiden. Shroom Lee. Getting experience points, and that was just it. So, okay. He's not that good at battling, I guess. Alright, let's move on right here. Now, we are going to be battling quite a few people. We are going to make a little bit of a debut for our new Pokemon, Skyblade. And talk to this guy. He's like, all my Pokemon does is roar. No one dares to come near me. Sai. If you would, please take this uh, TM away. And it is a TM05, which is, of course, Roar. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to teach it to anybody because, yeah, it's not much of a, uh, of a good move for anything. I mean, probably to scurry people or Pokemon away now. you got a double battle right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to switch it out with Raiden. And I'm going to go with Skyblade right here to debut our newest Pokemon. And uh, this guy looks like he has Water-type Pokemon. So... That wouldn't be a good idea with using Raphael. So what I'm going to do is go back to Raiden right here. And, uh, all right. They're looking at us. Me, I'm not pretty, just a pretty face. Huh. I, l I landed a big one. A huge one, I tell you. That's what she said. That's right. So here we go. Another battle. Against uh, Picnicker Charlotte and Fisherman Kai. And they are coming out with some pretty good Pokemon right here. And, wow. So this seems to be a, a an area for Barboach or Barboak or... Come on, comment down below, guys. And, uh... Yeah, I gotta switch out my Pokemon right now. So, sorry, Raiden. We gotta switch you out to Shroom Lee. And, uh... Luckily for us, I didn't want to do that. Why did I pick Swift? I was nervous. So here we go. Swift attack. Hits both of these guys while I'm at it. And there goes that Water Gun attack. Not much of a... Not an effective move, and oh crud, Nuzleaf just powering up its stats right here. So what I'm going to do right now is going to go Mega Drain right here, and I'm actually going to use the move I should have used on that guy, yeah. So Mega Drain takes out Barboach, or Barboak, or how, whatever his name is pronounced. However his name is pronounced, I should say. And uh, here we go, Peck Attack nearly beats this guy. And, uh, oh crud, nature power going into Swift. Not very effective. Yeah, it's a critical hit, but not very effective on my Skyblade right here. Oh, yes. I'm so happy about that. Or actually, you know what? No, I'm going to go with Strength and Peck Attack. And, uh, away we go. Say goodbye to Nuzleaf. That's right. Loof Blade, Shroom Lee. Shroom Lee grows to level 24. And, uh, all right. Okay, so it seems to be a very good uh, debut for our Skyblade right here. And, uh, hmm. Let's just grab this. Get ourselves an Energy Powder, which I believe is, you know, I guess it heals your Pokemon, but it actually takes away happiness from it. And, uh, have it. I'm going to battle this guy. Doesn't matter if he has a Barboach or something. Doesn't really matter. So here we go. Another battle. And this guy right here, his name is Cloud, and he's coming out with his magic carp. Okay, okay. Easy pickings for our good old buddy Raiden right here. And let's use our new move, Spark. Look at that. Spark attack for the win right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nothing good. Nothing good for you guys. And yes, he does have a barboach, so let's go back to uh, Shroom Lee. A Shroom Lee. Let's do this. He's feeling hungry right now. Barboach, Barboak. Eventually evolves into Wishkesh. You know, that kind of Pokemon. Mega Drain. I wish Drain Punch was still in this, or was in this game, in this generation. But it's not. Such a shame. It would be a good move for Shroom Lee right here. And, uh, yes. Shroom Lee. Healed up all, as always. And coming out with a Goldeen, I'm going to go back to Raiden right here. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do this. Raiden. Against our good old buddy Goldeen. And uh, you know what? F it. Let's go with a shockwave attack. Look at that. Will never miss. And takes out that Goldeen. Just like that. Easy pickings. Easy pickings. 
and uh, good experience points right there too. And Claude, been defeated, should have won if he had better Pokemon. Not really. You will never defeat me. Okay, so here we are in Route 114 still, and uh, we got more Pokemon trainers to battle. So I'm gonna go to Skyblade, and I'm gonna heal Skyblade up just a little more because it's still, you know, it's below level 20. And uh, let's go and uh, face this person right now. So here we go. Let's get it. Let's do it. Picnicker Nancy wants to come out, and she's coming out with her Meryl. Oh, wow. Okay, Skyblade can do this. All right, Skyblade, let's go. Peck attack. I wonder if it learns Drill Peck. If it does, then that's cool. That is awesome. All right. So let's go again. Another Peck attack. And, uh... You're lowering my impregnable um, impregnable uh, defense right here. So we go, pick attack. And uh, there's that water gun attack that we don't like. Go again, peck attack. That's right, Skyblade. Let's do this. Now, many of you guys are probably going to be questioning me after this episode. Why did you pick uh, Skyblade? Why did you pick a Skarmory? Well, like I said earlier, I wanted to... It, it was a debate. Either get a Skarmory or get one of the... The Pokemon that eventually evolves into a Dragon type Pokemon, which you know would either be Swablu, uh, Bagon, or what was the other Pokemon? Um, Trampage, yes. And I, I realized that you know what? Hey, you know, when I was driving XC711, I would always pick up a Dragon type Pokemon just because I know it's one of my favorite type uh, Pokemon typings. Um, it's, yeah, it is one of my favorite Pokemon typings, but, you know, I changed up my, my, uh, look at that, level 17. I changed up my, my whole, my whole gaming perspective right here, and I said that, you know what, try and be daring, try and do something different. Let's go ahead and use something, or let's use a different team without Dragon-type Pokemon. I mean, I don't think I've ever, I don't think in the last two episodes, or walkthroughs, I should say, uh, I've used a Dragon-type Pokemon, so... You know, eventually we will get a dragon type Pokemon somewhere along the lines. I mean, I don't want to get Bagon, to be honest, because you get Bagon, it's going to be like way, way later on into this whole episode or this whole adventure right here. So, you guys already have it. No Bagon. And uh, here we found some berries right here. So, let's go ahead and grab these berries. Look at that. Grabbing the berries. Look at that. All right. Soft loamy stuff and soft loamy stuff again. Two person berries. And let's go. Another soft loamy berries right here. That's right. More berries. So, yeah, guys, uh, that, that, that that's my perspective right there. And, uh, you know, I actually I actually had a Skarmory before in my old Pokemon Crystal walkthrough back when I was Draven XC711. Uh, unfortunately. For, uh, to many of you guys' dislike, I actually hacked that Skarmory in the beginning of this whole uh, old Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. No, you will never ever find that walkthrough because I deleted it all, you know, to start all new and all that shit. So, yeah. Skarmory. Yeah. I think I made the right choice by having a... by making... by legally capturing Skarmory right here, guys. Now, here we have a double battle right here. And, uh, you know what? I'm gonna stick with Sky Skyblade and Raiden right here. They seem to be the good, uh, the, the good pair right here. So here we go. A double battle. Me rambling on on why I picked Skarmory. And like I said, guys, I I've said it in the last millions of episodes right here. I do have a wish list of Pokemon that I want to use. And I've been using quite a few in this whole, this whole, uh, adventure right here. And, uh, oh crud. Alright, you know what? Screw it. Quick attack gonna destroy this Pokemon right here. Look at that. Roselia just destroyed. Skyblade kicking butt. And uh, Graveler just uh, up in its defense right here. Okay, so let's 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 do this. Sky let's use that steel attack. And let's just use a non-effective quick attack right now. Look at that. Only one HP. He's laughing at us. And here we go. Steel wing attack. Sounds effective, right? Okay. And, uh, oh crud, here comes the rollout attack. And, uh, that is a critical hit. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go to Swamp Lord. Alright. Swamp Lord, you know what to do. 
Let's go with the water gun attack. Of course, it's going to take him out just like that. Look at that. Bye bye Buh bye Graveler. Ah, that's right. And, uh, okay. Defeated player, or defeated si these people right here. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back. I got to heal up my Raiden again because he keeps on fainting and all that stuff. He keeps on fainting. Alrighty, so back into Fall Arbor Town. Let's go and, you know, revive our Pokemon right here. Now, now what I've been saying right here, yes, I am trying to, you know, change it up with the with different Pokemon and stuff. Of course, Torkoal is one of these Pokemon that I've never used pretty much ever, guys. I'm, I'm not joking, but I've seen them be, be, like, I've seen them used in different walkthroughs out there, and it turns out that Torkoal's a pretty good Pokemon if you use them correctly, and, uh... You know, that's what I'm trying to, that's actually what I'm trying to do right here. Just, you know, try and get some Pokemon that I've never used before and uh, make it better. You know, make all these walkthroughs better, more strategic and all that stuff. And uh, right now I'm going to be just, well, as you can see, I'm actually buying some more Pokemon items right here because, you know, what kind of items do I have right now? I don't really have a lot. So let's go back over here and uh, let's get back to it. Let's get back to right, Route 114, I should say. And uh, we're running, we're fit, we're doing things, we're getting stuff done. And uh, you know what? I don't want to get into that. And right here. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. I love using the berry crush machine, so I'm collecting berries. I'll share one with you if you'd like. And here we have the Nana Berry. Pretty nice Nana Berry. And uh, I still haven't used the berry crush berry or berry crush machine. Now, if you go right here, this is Lynette's house. And let's see who let's see what she has to say right here. Look, as you can see, it's pretty much cluttered. There's nothing that you can pretty much do here. So let's just talk to her. Oh, Draven. I'm sorry, everything is so cluttered. When I got when I get engrossed in the research, things just end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep this uh, a secret in exchange for this. She gives us a low tad doll. Another thing to decorate our I guess our secret base, our room. That kind of stuff. Okay, so let's see. Do we have any more Pokemon trainers right here? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to battle these last two trainers right here. And then save Mount or Meteor or, yeah, the Meteor or Meteorite Falls for the next episode. Especially with all the trainers right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep Skyblade right now and just battle this guy. So here we go. Camping's fun. You can fish, roast marshmallows, and tell spooky stories. But the best of all are the Pokemon battles. You know, in real life, that would be awesome. That would be so friggin' awesome. So here we go. Camper Shane coming out with his Sandshrew. All right, Sandshrew. Let's go. Sandshrew. About to get this Steel Wing right here. Huh. I just noticed that Skyblade's eyes turn, uh, turn silver. Huh. And its defense just increased right there. And uh, now it's Battle of the Defenses. See who can actually have the best defense ever. So there we go. Steel Wing again. And uh Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna penetrate this whole thing right here. So there we go, another steel wing attack. There we go. And uh that scratch attack not gonna do us or not gonna do anything. So I'm gonna go with one more steel wing. Finish him off. Bye bye, Sandrew. There we go. Look at that. Skyblade just kick a butt now. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna stay with Skyblade and uh, destroy this uh, nose leaf right here. So let's go with a peck attack. There we go. That sounds so perfect. Just beating them right there. And wow, now it's trying to increase its defense. Not going to happen, homeboy. Not going to happen right here. Bye bye. Oh yes, Skyblade grows a level 18 right there. This Pokemon is awesome right here. Way too strong. Yes, I am way too strong. I am the master of all Pokemon now. We got one more trainer right here before we pause our episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch it up. And uh, let's go with Raphael, another another one of our good Pokemon right here. And this guy is going to come up to us and he's like, hoo, 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 hoo. Want to battle against my Pokemon? Yeah, whatever you say, Creeper. So here we go, another Pokemaniac, his name is Steve, and he's coming out with an Auron. Oh wow, reminding us that we had an Auron at one point. And here we go, Raphael. Rock Smash! Oh yes, 
I think another reason why Rafael is uh, going up a, or doing a better job is because I think I gave him a, I think I gave him the quick claw. So that's probably what's helping him out right now. And here comes that metal claw. Nah, not too effective. But its attack just rose, and I'm gonna go again. Rock Smash for the win. So I guess Rock Smash is better on Raphael. I guess I don't know. But big Pokemon Maniac, Pokemaniac has been defeated right there. Okay, and yes, he uh, he wants to give us his uh, phone number because he doesn't he doesn't want to forget that he lost. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay right here, guys. Uh, in the next episode, we're gonna be going all through meter of the meteorite falls and wherever we land and all that crud. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>